so we're going to continue our soap opera about Kreb. So Kreb, um, we talked in our last video about Kreb and the Cory cycle. And Kreb and Cory were dating. It ended really badly. And he became acetyl-CoA. So we have acetyl-CoA. Uh, we know amino acids can be made into acetyl-CoA. So we can get acetyl-CoA from proteins, from carbohydrates. We know that glucose and glycolysis brought us down here. Um, and our fatty acids, I drew them as fat droplets or little balloons. They each have a carbon. So it's a two-carbon fragment. Beta oxidation of these fatty acids. So I think of oxidation, I think of oxygen and balloons. Um, can go to acetyl-CoA. This is a reversible. It can go back and forth. So let's go on to Krebs' um, soap opera of dating. So Kreb, um, he meets citric acid, which is very similar to Corey. Um, and citric, they kind of have an acidic relationship as well. Um, so through this relationship, he loses some energy. He loses some water, maybe some sweat, um, and some carbon dioxide. So he decides that citric acid was just a little bit too acidic, just a little bit um, not a great relationship for him. So he meets alpha-ketoglutaramic acid, which I have a hard time saying that fast. Um, and this is also using thiamine or B1. So this is his best relationship, his first relationship that's been pretty good. So his best relationship, relationship number one, um, he truly has a long-term relationship um, with alpha-ketoglutaric acid. However, we still have acid. He's still a little unsure. Um, they date for a couple years. They have a good time, um, but they end up going separate ways. And he meets oxaloacetate. So oxaloacetate, um, she just got out of a relationship with pyruvate and she's really kind of broken hearted. And, um, she, I have B7 is needed in this reaction. She's gorgeous. She takes biotin supplements for her hair and skin. So B7 is biotin. Um, he really likes oxaloacetate. Um, and they have a really great relationship. So, Eventually, though, along the way, Mr. Kreb, he goes back to being bachelor acetyl-CoA up here, and he can't decide between the fatty acids and amino acids come along again and say hi. Um, so that's kind of our little story about Kreb, if that helps you remember any of that. Um, in this whole process of dating, he has 38 children. Um, so that's a lot of energy that's created from one of his dating cycles, uh, bad crab, lots of children. So one glucose can yield 38 ATPs. Um, and that's mainly through this crab cycle here. Um, but that is my little story about crab. Hopefully that helps you remember the crab cycle or the TCA cycle or, um, citric acid cycle.